missed the ball. I got mad allergies right now. I woke up to this on my porch, okay? I've been saving! Saving! I've been selling! I sold all my old shoes to afford these. But we're gonna try our damnest to get through this video, despite whatever the hell is going on with through my mind. I forgot that I had even ordered these, but I've been saving up all year, so. I'm gonna knock a comment and hope y'all to subscribe. Queens, Queens, and everything in between. I know y'all hate this vertical format, but so be it. I've been fiddling around with the camera. The camera's giving me shit. Um, I'm reviewing the quad platforms because I couldn't find any reviews out there for men. Now, these look a little small. I'll be honest with you. They look a little small. Maybe it's because I got a men's size 10. Maybe I should have stuck to a size 11. But damn no, damn no, if these don't fit me, which would be very unfortunate because they look gorgeous. Better than I expected. I expected these to be a little bit like hold me the clown when I walk in. Um, if these don't fit me, then um, I will in fact take them back and get the size 11, which is my actual size. But I was advised to size down for the quad 8053 platforms, okay? Um, and off the rip, this was six pounds, this delivery box, beautifully packaged. Um, I'm not a shoe review person, okay? But I'm telling you right now, these are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous like gorgeous. Um, and yeah, I'm reviewing these, like I said, I couldn't find any goddamn reviews out there for men. And I'm like, shit, like, come on, girl. Like, I'm trying to figure out what to do. All the reviews I find are like, are like um, you know. All right. Oh my God. These look like, hold on. Ooh, it says they run like, these look, okay, I'm gonna show you my feet, okay? So, oh my God, these actually fit perfectly. Um. Now, this is next to my original shoe size, which is, which is a 10.5, but in H&M sizing, this goes up to an 11. Um, but yeah, uh, so these, in fact, do not look huge on my feet, which is surprising to me. These don't look massive on my feet. In fact, here's my, these are like a canvas, um, Chuck style sneaker right here. These don't look too massive for some platforms, which is actually so impressive. And, um, I just put these on. I know that with, um, Dr. Martens, I was advised to size down because the material stretches. Well, I'll tell you this. My foot isn't slipping out the back. I haven't even tied these tightly. Um, and that was my major thing. I was like, um, I've tried on this style of Dr. Martens before and my foot was slipping out the back. My foot isn't even slipping out my out the back. It just fit on like a motherfucking glove. And wow. Um, I'm a little skeptical because I want to make sure this is the exact size I'm looking for. Um, there's my foot right there. Uh, my foot comes about right here and it's sitting here. I have a wide, um, a wide, a bit of a wide foot. Um, as opposed to length, but yeah, so, ooh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now I'm going to go ahead and try the other pair on, and oh my god, they literally feel perfect. When I tell y'all these are the most comfortable shoes I have ever worn, they fit like a motherfucking glove. They, they fit perfectly. Look at them. Look at them! They're perfect! You know how just, how enthralling, just how exhilarating it feels to have saved all year for something. To have saved all year, and it fits perfectly. Literal perfection. Now I'm gonna take a walk in these. Oh my god, these are... Oh, oh my god, oh my, oh my god, they're perfect. 
These are literally perfect. Now I could tie this one a little tighter so my foot ain't slipping out the bag. They do squeak. But. I'm trying not to scuff them up because if I was doing my regular runway walk, <laughs> you know, there'd be a little more creases. But just in case they start feeling tight later on, because, you know, that happens. Um, these don't look too big on my feet. And that was my greatest worry was that these would look a bit too big on my feet compared to just look like in, in short i thought they would end up looking like clown shoes do these look like clown shoes to you these look like something i could walk into the motherfucking work room and slay like these look so gorgeous now mind you um i did no notice my foot slipping out the back so you may need to throw on a thicker sock um i am gonna need to get used to these a little mind you if they start feeling a little tight i need to take note of that um because these were almost $200. So these are some expensive ass shoes, but as you can tell by the quality, every inch is worth that motherfucking cock. So yeah. Um, yeah. Whew. Size 10. I originally wear a size 11. Um, these fit like a glove. My major thing with the size, um, with the other size is that I was afraid they were going to be a little too big and be slipping on my foot, but I just, I love them. Okay. I love them. And just so that you know, um, there it goes. Men's review for a Dr. Martin quad 503 shoe.